we're gonna be filming in nude clothing today. But we'll give the illusion and we'll film from here up. Right. Hey everybody, welcome back to my page, Hot Mess Express Tutorials. Today I'm going to be swatching and somewhat reviewing the Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudie Patootie Palette as well as some of her lipsticks. Also, there is a fly buzzing around so you might hear some buzzing and it's driving me crazy a little bit, but we can't get rid of it. Let's start with the packaging. So as you can see, it says Nudie Patootie on it and the letters are raised. Makes this sound, get a little ASMR in here. In this corner right here, it has the Laura Lee Los Angeles logo. And then on the back, it has a little Laura Lee LL. I guess her social media stuff and information down here. Let's get to the inside. You guys will be so proud, this mirror is so clean. So if we go back to our three-year-old map, this is a rectangular shape, and there's a mirror on top that is the whole rectangle. All of the colors are different names for being naked. Also, I wanna point out that I got this idea from Glam and Gore. She also did the Nude Beauty palette in the nude, so go check out her video, she is much, much more popular than I am. But something that she didn't do is swatch her colors on her chest. So that's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> this has 14 colors in it, and the first color I'm gonna do is Stark. So I'm assuming, it looks white, but I'm assuming this is gonna be like your inner core. Ooh, look at that in the light. Also, if you notice, I do have veins right here, and I used to be really self-conscious about it as a child, um, but then, um, as I got older, I thought it was like really cool. It was like a tattoo, but not really. Be confident about your bodies, people. Stark, highlighting my veins. Next we have undressed, and this is basically the color of my skin. Almost. Maybe the color I want my skin to be, like a little bit tanner. Next we have topless, and hey, we're already there. And this is a shimmery pink color. After that is streaking. Now. I've never gone streaking before, but really I haven't. Uh, this one I did with my pinky, so it doesn't look as good, sorry. My sister says this one is more my color. Um, I think it has more like red undertones, so that's probably why this one I think has more yellow undertones. Okay, the next color is called Uncover. Okay. Oh my god, this is so pretty! Look at that, that's gorgeous. Holy wow. That is gorgeous. Uncover. That's that's going on me today. I haven't prepared my look if you didn't know. Okay, next is Strip, the yellow. It looks more mustard in the palette, like in this lighting, but it definitely looks way more orange in real life. <laughs> next is Bear. Looks like a nice flirty spring color. And then we're going down to the bottom row with Exposed. And these two. Sorry, it's really hard to do with the pinky. Next is Au Naturel. Reveal. This looks like it's gonna be good for like transition. Color. Just flicking you off, it's fine. Next is Jaybird. Oh, wait, no. Whoa, okay, so to me, like out of the light, this is like a like burnt orange brown. But then in the light, it's so red. Whoa, that's so crazy weird. Wowie wow wow, I never knew. Almost finished. We have butt naked. It's my favorite kind of naked. Don't have a big chest area, so I really hope that we make it to the end. <laughs> okay, and then our last shimmer is buff. And then nakey nakey. There we go. So here are my janky color swatches. Um, all of the colors, all 14. If you didn't notice, all the colors are a different form of being naked or being undressed. Comment down below if you have another way of saying being a nudie patootie that wasn't in the palette. Next we're going to go over the lipsticks and these are liquid matte lipsticks. First I'm going to do Nakey Nakey and this color I've been wearing a lot, a lot. I really, really like it. How much of a double chin do I have? Oh one. And as you can see, 
this Nakey Nakey color is very different from this Nakey Nakey color. Next I'm going to go with Topless. So this is Topless and it has a little bit more of a pinky color to it. Lastly we have Jaybird, which is very different because the Jaybird in the palette is a gold color. Um, but I'm assuming that the I'm assuming that the lightest one is for pale, light skin people like me. This is for olive skin, and this one is for dark skin. And this all came in like a like in a set together. I'm gonna go put on some face makeup, so I will come back once I have done that. And I'm gonna put some powder underneath my eyes just in case there is any fallout. So should I get that? Just got a little bit on my finger. <sighs> oh my gosh, that's a way too long. Let's start with this palette, the point of this video. Alright, see you soon. I'm gonna first go in with Undressed, this nude color. As I said, that was more like my color. Put it inside the crease. When I first put it on my eye, it's looking like a lighter color, and then I swear it, it's oxidizing. Is that weird? Like, I swear it's getting darker. Next, we're going to go over top of that with Butt Naked. I'm not 100% on the way these are blending together, but I'm going to keep trying. Then on the lid, I'm going to go in with Bare. Press that down on the lid. This color is really pretty and really just feminine and cute. Then to smoke this out, I'm going to go in with Nakey Nakey and put it in the corner outer corner to be specific. I'm not really seeing any fallout so that's really great. Um, there is some kickback in the pan but it's like a very little amount. Then I'm going to put the tiniest bit of butt naked in the middle just to blend these out together. And then to give it a little shine and shimmer, I'm going to add buff to the outer corners. And then I totally said I wanted to put uncover in this and I just don't think it's going to work. And I'm really sad about it. Oh my gosh. But I think I can do topless, the redder color, the redder, redder shimmer. I'm going to add Nakey Nakey. And if you see, I left a little bit of space right here because that is where I'm going to add Topless. Adding a little bit to the lid as well. Then going in with Stark for the inner corner. And I'm going to swipe streaking on the bottom. So I went back in with Stark uh, right below the eyebrow bone and I think I used the same brush that I used Topless with so it might have mixed together a little bit, but I'm not hating it. I'm going to go do the other eye and then we'll come back for the eye accessories. Okay, so I did all of my other face accessories um, including eyelashes and highlighter and eyeliner. I was going to put some brown liner on my waterline right here, but uh, it's not here, so <laughs> we're going nude with the waterline, I guess. I Like I said, I'm going to go in with Topless for the lip. It smells kind of like yogurt. So I really love the formula for these lipsticks. They're so creamy. Like, they feel really good on your lips, and they dry pretty quickly, and they smell like yogurt to me. And I mean, if you like yogurt, then... That's really great. <laughs> they might smell like something else to you that's not yogurt, but... So this is the final look. Let's do a final overview of the product. So, uh, let me... Where did I put the palette? So we'll start with packaging. Ask for packaging. I think it's stuck to what it said. The packaging is nude um, in like a rose gold color. Super cute. I like it. The rectangular shape might make it a little bit harder to travel with. It comes with 14 shades and that's a lot. So I don't know exactly how you would make that better, but I mean, I'm not a 
geometry major packing skills are really great. The pigment is really nice. When you get the product, it comes with a beautiful picture of Laura Lee, and on the back there are some directions and other things, and it says when you use the shimmer products, you should use it with setting spray. I didn't do that today just because, I mean, I thought the pigment was coming off really nicely. Maybe it's just my light. So that's just like another product that you would have to use with this if you don't have that already, but she's already warning you to put it out there. There's a little bit of kickback in the pan, but I just kind of press it down and hope for the best. Uh, there wasn't a lot of fallout really at all, so that was really nice. So maybe what you get the kickback in the pan is what you don't get in your fallout. I don't know if that makes sense. I really love the colors in here. I think it's the perfect amount of shimmers with matte colors. I like how clever she was with all of the names. Okay, so I'm looking online at lauraleelosangeles.com and as of right now, as of, what is today's date? July? As of July 16th, 2018, most of the stuff is sold out, but maybe in the future when you're watching this, it won't be. If you would like just the palette, it is $45. If you would like the eyeliners, they are $14 and they're not sold out. If you would just like the Liquid Lipsticks Trio, it was $48 and now it's $38. If you would just like one liquid lipstick, if you liked one color the most, like I really like the Nakey Nakey color, but now that I'm wearing the topless color, I'm really liking this color too, so I'm really glad I got all three. I mean, you know my love for lipstick. Um, but if you would just like one liquid lipstick, then it's $16. Okay, so those are all the prices. Now, if that's out of your price range, that's totally understandable. If you didn't really like the colors, then and you don't want to get it, then that's totally understandable. This is not me being like, hey, you should go buy this, and this is not me saying, hey, you shouldn't go buy it. I, I still like the palette, and I love these lip colors. You can go by what I say, or you can try it yourself. I mean, I just like putting makeup on. <laughs> That's my opinion on that. Comment down below, how do you get ready when you put your makeup on? Are you already clothed, or are you in the au naturel? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button, and subscribe, comment, with all the things I just said about commenting <laughs> and share it on your social media. If you would like to follow me on social media, then you can follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. My Hot Mess Express tip of the day goes back to what I was saying, not in my last video, but the one before that about samples. Once again, I love samples. So if you want to get like those packages, like Ipsy or Birchbox or BoxyCharm, stuff like that, they have super great products and they usually give you a good portion of it. Oh my gosh, excuse me. And so you can see if you like the product and if you do like it, then you can go and get more. Or if you don't like it, then it's just a sample and you paid like a small amount of money to get it. That's my two cents on that. I believe that is the end of this video. So bye guys. Mwah.